Today I'm going to cook a um, green vegetable risotto with um, seared scallops and then I'm going to do pork fillet on top of gorgonzola and sun bush tomato um, planter cake. Now these aren't recipes you get from, from a book anywhere, this is, no. this is coming out of your head? Yeah. Hopefully um, my blend of flavours will, will be a bit different to everybody else. And how much would you uh, like to go through in the next round? Even more so after this morning. I really want to show you what else I can do. Good luck. Thank you. You have 20 minutes left. After impressing the judges yesterday with his salmon, mash and pea puree, Can Paul's two courses now secure him a quarter-final place? Sea bass on courgette rosti mm -hmm. and a ravioli filled with crab. What do you think these two dishes say about you as a cook, Paul? I'd like to think that they show that I've got a, a reasonable degree of competence. If you go sort of dream forward that you may have won MasterChef, what would be your dream, ultimate dream? Working in a kitchen probably isn't what I want, but what I would like to do is probably to have a cook school and I think uh, MasterChef would be a good platform to start that. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. Nice, really nice. But I'll tell you what, he's got a lot to do. He ain't got much time left. That's it, time's up. Aspiring cookery teacher Paul has made crab and ricotta ravioli with lemon butter, followed by sea bass on a rosti with rocket sauce and broad beans. I think your pasta's absolutely excellent. I do question the using the ricotta. It does make it creamy, mm -hmm. but it washes away some of the crab flavour. If I didn't know there was crab in there, I would be trying to understand what the flavour is. Because it's sort of disappeared with all the other lovely bits that are in there. Mm. That's the ravioli. Bring in the fish. Oh, I really like that. Everything's very nicely seasoned. The fish is cooked perfectly. Got a little bit of sweetness of courgette in there. Quite frankly, if you left me to my own devices, I would demolish that in about three minutes. Great. Very, very well cooked dish. For me, the texture is all a bit too soft. The um, rosti just doesn't have enough body. Flavours, though, I think are really, really good. Do you want to go through to the next round? More than anything, yeah. I want to change my hobby into a job. Experimental cook Cassandra has made green vegetable risotto with seared scallops, followed by pork rolled in sumac on a gorgonzola and tomato polenta cake. I think it looks great as a dish. The scallop, it's sort of there, it disappears, it comes. I don't actually think it's necessary for a really good veg risotto. OK. That scallop with the pea and the broad bean, it's all very sweet, it's all very light and just packed full of summer. From risotto to our pork. What happened? I ran out of time. So the, the pork fillet came out, it wasn't quite all the way through. Yeah. And you're about as happy as, with this as the most unhappy person in the world. I think the flavours are extraordinary. I think they're quite interesting because they bounce around in such a way that you don't expect because you've got the salty gorgonzola, the texture of the polenta, then your little rocket leaves over the top. Actually, I really like the idea of it. I find it too much. Okay. Going from sweet tomato to lemony sumac to salty cheese, back to pork, I find it too much. Our quarter finalist. Is Cassandra. Congratulations. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you.